Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion, where Jazeera is in his room at the Faragil Inn. At Faragil, the small town on the outskirts of Cyrodiil, which is full of amusing fictional references and also, uh, possibly the site of a genocide. <laughs> Because it's home to uh, a mine that used to be occupied by goblins until the humans came here and murdered them all. Then the goblins came back, tried to murder all the humans, and failed. What do you want? Now, something Pants. horrible's happened in the mine, and we don't know what it is. And we've questioned people around here, and we haven't been able to get a straight answer out of anyone, really. And, um... The only option left to us now is to actually go into the mine and investigate it for ourselves. Who knows what we'll find down there. Good. And you? Great. Some nice paintings here, Excellent. actually. Possibly of other places. Or, well, obviously of other places around Cyrodiil. Some of them, perhaps, like this one. Places added by other mods made by um, Arthmore. Who made this one. So. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning, currently. And oh, there you go, there's another one. Um, it's about 11 o'clock in the morning currently. The weather's nice outside, as you can see. Out there in the blue void. Vilia <laughs> uh, is clearly already up. And uh, we're going to go check out the mine. As soon as we've had something to eat, anyway. Oh, what's in the pot? Don't know. It's just a covered pot that I can pick up. I believe, because this place has a fireplace, I could actually go around here and just sort of, like, request that we have our food cooked, if you want to put it that way, by using the skillet. Use some of the meat we got, like the cooked tuna fillet, for example. Cooked tuna. Oh. I'm, I'm a bit of a fiend for tuna myself in real life. So that sits well with me. And I, bet I, mean, I mean, my cat loves tuna as well, so... I bet it sits well with Jazir too. <laughs> He's been looking forward to this tuna all week. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. And some veggies. Like that. Carrot, cheese. Um, what else? Hunger tongue. No. Perhaps a delicacy in more weird parts of Tamriel, but not here, I suspect. Bread. There we go. That should sort us out hunger-wise, I hope. And we're just slightly thirsty now, so... Drink a canteen full of water. I'm going to talk to the innkeep to see if she's got any additional bits and bobs, actually, like some booze, Afternoon. perhaps. It's my pleasure. Please continue. Need a bite to eat? Maybe something to wash it down with? Well, you don't have the best booze, but you've got some. you also got some coffee, which I'm going to take. Uh, I'll take some beer. For the road. And another bread loaf. And another carrot. Can you fry an egg in this game, do you think? I could look at my recipe book, another actually. Another satisfied customer. Uh, where is it? Jazir's faction rate. Oh, let's have a look at that, actually. How are we doing? Plus 144 with the Imperial Legion. Plus 4 with Orsinium and Skyrim. And Morrowind and Black Marsh. And elsewhere, 0 with Valenwood. Who are the most powerful factions in the middle? Obviously the Imperial Legion, but also it looks like elsewhere. Elsewhere's on the up and up. That's good to hear. Valenwood... And Morrowind behind them. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know if this... I can't remember if this goes into minuses. I said, like, plus four as if that was a good thing. But it, I can't remember if it goes into minuses. I think it might just be four out of 200, in which case that's terrible still. But they like... I think they like us a bit more because we, we killed some Valenwood Rangers earlier. And that's affected our ranking with the other factions as a result. So... Anyway... Manual of cooking, there we go. Can we do anything with eggs? Oh, we can... Oh, if we had a winemaker, we'd we could use some grapes to make wine. That's kind of cool.
Oh yeah, we can bake stuff. We can bake sweet cakes. And sweet rolls with eggs. But I need a rolling pin. Purchased from merchants and crafted using Tinker's tools. Interesting. I suppose I'd need some wood to craft it with Tinker's tools. Um, in which case, I'd need to go chop down a tree with an axe. I mean, I have an axe. I could just go and try and chop down a tree. By which I mean punch a tree a few times with my axe. Then I could get a rolling pin. Um, and then, oh, yeah, all you need apparently is a working fire, so then we could bake stuff. Although I don't have any flour or pitchers of milk, but, you know, or pitchers of water for that matter if I wanted to make bread, but. Can't just make a fried egg, though, it looks like. <laughs> oh, well. Might go and punch a tree. Um, yeah, hi, my name is Sorcerer Dave, and now we're playing Minecraft, apparently. Um, anyway, Philia, I think it's time we left. Don't, not, not, not to interrupt whatever it is you're doing right now. So, what would you like to do next? Uh, Jithir would like to go and check out the, uh, the abandoned mine, and also maybe chop down a tree, for reasons you will explain later. Let's go. Sure. You're gonna switch what into your armor? You? No, you should probably... You know what I would fancy right now? A sweet roll. Or a sweet cake. Uh, did you see it? I got a sweet cake. Ah, we do! Here you go. You can have a sweet cake for breakfast. You have? Yummy! Give it to me, please. She said please, but it really did not feel like a request. Uh... Okay, yeah. Yeah, put your armor on. There we go. I understand Daedra worship has become Okay. Let's go and find a suitable tree, shall we? Mm, interesting. A bit of Morrowind music to get my nostalgia going. If you can hear that in the background. I know the music's been awfully quiet. In this LP, it's because some of the tracks are quite loud, so I have to turn it down a bit. Let's give this tree over here a go, shall we? I think I can just hit it with any old axe. I'm not really sure, though. Maybe I have to power attack, I'm not sure. I'm gonna look like a right moron if this doesn't work, aren't I? Maybe I have to have a special woodcut axe. In which case, yeah, yeah, I am a bit of a maroon, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. Think I might need a special axe. Uh, let's go to my tinker's tools. Don't have any. Th oh, don't have any materials. It won't yet even let me see what I could make. Also, I don't know where I stole that plate from, but apparently we have a stolen plate on us. Quick, we must get rid of the goods! Nobody will find it here. I have an alien spoon. I don't think it would work with that, but with, if, with a regular spoon, uh, I think you can use it as a shortcut to actually just quickly eat a food item when you're hungry. With the uh, hunger mod I've got. Scissors. Oh, I do have a rolling pin! I feel very silly. Oh well. Uh, I've got a rolling pin anyway. No need to chop- no, no need to chop down a tree. At least until I want to build a winemaker or something. <laughs> Alright. I say it's awfully picturesque, this village, isn't it? With the mountains coming up on either side. Alright. Time to go check out the spooky mine. Get to the bottom of this. Literally, if, if needs be. Anything to do with this well? Alright, oh, yes, I forgot it's mysteriously poisoned. Oh, excuse the sniffing, folks. I've just got a ticklish nose today for some reason. So I apologise for the uh, the lack of uploads over the last week or two. Um, I came down quite ill. 
um, with some sort of nasty stomach bug thing. Uh, I still don't know exactly what was wrong with me. I'm still waiting for some tests to come back from the doctors. I still don't actually feel 100% back to my normal self at the moment, but um, I feel well enough to record anyway. Previously, every time I tried to sit down and do a little bit of work when I was feeling well enough, within about five minutes of me sitting down and getting the recording software going, I'd immediately start getting stomach cramps and need to run for the toilet again, so I just gave up in the end. And uh, most of the rest of the time, I just did not feel up to the job of sitting down and recording anyway, because I just felt wretched. Um, I don't think it's anything serious, because if it was anything serious, I wouldn't be feeling better. Um, but even so, I've still got some test results to come back before I really figure out what on earth is going on. Um, and that's why you haven't seen much from me over the last couple of weeks on the channel, I'm afraid. That's because I was ill, and it was not very pleasant. It was kind of awkward too because it came just as I was, uh, just as I hit 100,000 subscribers on the channel, which I would have liked to have celebrated properly, but instead I was lying in bed going, Ugh, and clutching my stomach. So, uh, yeah, kind of sucked. But never mind, we're back now. Business as usual shall hopefully be resuming. Alright, let's check out Darcy's Bind. Oh boy, it's dark in here. Right. Night eye is going to be required. Now we have set Vilia into uh, to as uh, essential. And I'm seeing that tripwire up ahead, and I'm thinking to myself, "Oh, what about Vilia?" And then I really remembered. Actually, no, we did set her to essential. Some folks in the comments apparently didn't pick up on that. I, I do appreciate that a lot of people just sort of listen to the video in the background, but. Uh, if you are one such person, that's fine, because I do that with other videos myself. But I would ask you to refrain from offering advice when you've not been actually paying attention, because I had more than a couple of people saying, um, oh, Dave, you, you, you set Vilia to essential by going into this menu and this menu and literally telling me exactly what I'd already done in the video. So it was kind of a little awkward. Haha, <laughs> I can tell who wasn't paying attention this week moment. Anyway, small, small rant. That's how you know we're back to normal, folks, because I'm sitting here rambling at you about things like the, like that. But, yeah. Just, I, I just, I feel it's polite. If you haven't really been paying attention, don't, don't, <laughs> don't go trying to offer advice. It's a golden rule I force myself to follow as well when I, when I watch other people's videos. If I haven't been paying attention or if I haven't finished watching the video yet, I force myself not to comment in the comment section until it's over, if I feel like leaving a comment. So we've got traps, which is a bit of an odd thing to set up in a mine. Especially ones that trigger when intruders come in and not the other way around. We've got dead goblins, we've got skeletons, dead treasure hunters. More dead goblins. A zombie. What on earth? A horrifying sounding zombie at that. My god. As if oblivion zombies weren't already horrifying enough. <laughs> zombie brain. I can loot that apparently. I don't think I want that or the mort flesh. I'll take those torches. Something very wrong has happened down here. Gold vein. Don't mind if I do. Nobody's using the mine anyway, apparently. We shall say no to that iron helmet because we are saying no to helmets in general. Even if it's a really good helmet. Call it a self-imposed restriction. In Morrowind, if you're a Khajiit, you can't wear boots. In this playthrough, this Khajiit isn't wearing helmets. It's just, it is what it is. <laughs> 
I was under the impression that you needed a pickaxe to get at these. But, uh, you know, with the mods I'm going to install, but apparently not. Apparently I can just straight up loot the nuggets. But then again, I suppose this isn't a vanilla mine, so... It's a modded one, so... Different rules may apply. Handbill, letter. Just an anonymous love letter. The mine foreman. Well, he pocketed some of the goods, hadn't he? Didn't get very far with him, though. Shears. I could use them to shear some sheep if I really wanted to, but I don't. It's a nice touch that she draws her weapon when you do. I'm pretty sure Skyrim NPCs do that. The follower NPCs, I mean. We're getting plenty of gold out of this. It's like I can hear something breathing. Oh yeah. Lurking out of the corners from behind there. Is the auto save. I was about to I was about to hit quick save actually then but the auto save beat me to it. More dead gobbos. And more undead. Whoa goodness me, okay that gave me a shock that did. Zombies get back up now apparently. Can I stop that from happening if I remove the brain, do you think? Julia, watch them very closely, please. Yep. That's what I thought. Ah! Will they get up more than once, do you think? Or is that it? Like I said, watch them closely. No. Ah! See, that one stayed dead. Maybe it's random. She's being very passive in combat again, isn't she? What can I do for you? You can, uh, while the zombie's getting up in the background, you can... Yeah, be, be a bit more aggressive. Yeah, have at him. You're not very tough, are you? It's a good thing I did make you, uh... You don't scare me! Does that mean that zombie we killed earlier has probably gotten back up again as well? Do you reckon? We're gonna have to remove their brains, aren't we? Ugh. I'm not inclined to hold on to these until I've discovered a very useful property they might have. There we go. I've removed the brains. Hopefully that'll be enough. Begs the question, what do you do if it's a headless zombie, but... There's anything else in here, is there, anyway? Oh, wait, no, there's another door. And some wisp stalks. So I'm curious now. I kind of want to sit here and wait. I believe this is Jade Empire music that's playing right now, in case you're curious. Might be wrong, but I think it is. I recently started playing Jade Empire. I say recently, it was like a month ago now, but... 
I started playing Jade Empire properly for the first time. Because it was one of the, the only Bioware RPG that had really slipped me by and I hadn't really done anything with. And I have to admit, I've been enjoying it, even though I suck at the combat. I really miss old school Bioware RPGs. I really do, like, like the KOTOR and Jade Empire era. Man, they were good. My first proper, proper RPG was, was, was Knights of the Old Republic. Been playing that on the Switch as well. Lots of nostalgia. All right, rope ladder d deeper into Darcy's mine. Bandits appear to have raided the mine recently and made a terrible fate. Yes. Oh boy, yeah. Uh... I can hear something in that direction. <coughs> Sound travels a bit weirdly straight through walls in Oblivion, doesn't it? But uh, we'll just we'll just chalk it up to uh, Jazir's amazing cat ears. It's a tremendously good sense of hearing. Oh boy, there's more than a few undead around here. Skeletons as well now. Taking a bit of a risk every time I cast Night Eye there, because they can see that sometimes when I do it. Oh boy. Okay, right. Yep, yeah, that's the problem with setting you to aggressive, I suppose. Yeah. Quickly. Remove the brains! Oh, you don't have one. Okay. Uh. Oh, there's another one. Oh, she's off. She's off. quickly. Oh my god, I didn't need to see that. No, oh, no, there's more. No, 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 not no tarantulas, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's a gloom wraith. Good thing we've got magic weapons, isn't it? And we're dead. Okay, then. Uh, we found the boss of the uh, the mine, apparently. Oh boy, did it really ought to save in the middle of combat? Though? I think it did. Okay, Billy is slightly unconscious, it looks like. Unless she's straight up. No, she's unconscious. We're good. And still being shot at. Uh. Okay, that was weird. Tell me, what do you want? I'd like you to be a little less aggressive now, please. Sure. Anything uh, in particular? Yeah, yeah. I'd like you to like you to uh, only attack enemies that attack us, please. If you say so. Okay. Good. Goodbye. Before you aggro the entire mine at once. Oh God! There comes a ghost. Oh. Stay down, zombie. Remove its brain. Oh, there's more. Don't worry, little brother. There's more. That ghost isn't glowing and it's really weird. What bloody key did I assign Night Eye to? There we go. Oh god, the spiders are back. Oh man, I'm no arachnophobe, but Jesus, those things are creepy. The way they're animated, man, the way they move is just wrong. Who's this guy? A dead scholar. And a dead rat. And a puddle of ghost. Expertly drawn treasure map is this. Ooh. Elsewhere border. Looks like there's some buildings, some rocks, then X marks the spot. 
God, I don't know how I'd ever find that, but... Unless that's somewhere near the village. Interesting. I don't think that's in any way related to this quest, by the way. That's, um... Oh god, here comes the gloom wraith. Quickly save. He has so much health! What can I do here? To buff a little bit. I doubt a poison's going to affect him, but I'll give it a go. Bit of shield. Oh my days. It's a bit aggressive when he's angry, isn't he? Can't drink any more potions. Well, that's annoying. Okay, he is going to totally one shot me with that, isn't he? Look at that zombie's just sat there. Vilia, where are you going? Are you running away from the raid? That's probably smart, actually, if I'm honest. Jesus! No! No, 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 no! What are you doing, woman? Aggroing all the friggin'... Oh, right, okay, here we go. It's on now. To me. Oh, he silenced me. You git. Go there. A hand would be nice. Dodge that. More night eye, because he's actually quite difficult to see down here. I guess that's why they call him a gloom wraith. Whoops, wrong weapon. Gave me a shock with that there, you did. Die! I do Emperor Palpatine on me there. Em Elven Longsword, huh? Bet I can't use that. Well, at least the spider silk's valuable. Creepy little... Duh. Trying to loot the wraith, though, but Villiers stood on top of him. Oh, just ectoplasm. All right, let's let's backtrack a bit. There's a lot we ran past there. Um, don't remember if those are useful for anything, honestly. Large copper nugget, huh? In a gold vein. That was either very lucky or unlucky. I'm not sure which. So you're not dead. Let's fix that, shall we? Mythic Dawn Agent. What on earth? Speechcraft Green Brocade. Nice. Another one for Jizzy's wardrobe. And a Nern route. A bit far from the water, eh? a little bit lost here, I've got to be honest. Do we come from that way? Now that we're not running along and aggroing everything. Let's take a slightly more methodical look around, shall we? 
and it is amazingly dark. If I didn't have night eye, this place would be mega creepy. I almost feel like I'm ruining the atmosphere somewhat by using night eye, but at the same time, sorry, not sorry. Okay, we went that way. This is where the gloom wraith came from. You better be the only one in here. I'll have no more truck with additional gl gloom wraiths, thankfully. Th 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 frank frankly. Verbal diarrhea there. Oh. <sighs> one redeeming quality is that you have valuable loot. Hello, some alien bits. What do we have in here? A carrot and some grapes. Maybe not from the haunted mine. Turn and dead tome. Gold coins. Novice mortar and pestle. Well, he's not going to be needing it anymore, is he? Tongs. Master calcinator, master retort, master alembic. A mass of more impulsive. You've got to be joking. Well, don't mind if I do. There we go. Dump all the old stuff now. Oh, and a welcome stone. Just for giggles. I'm probably over encumbered though. There they are. Need a hand. You haven't forgotten about the book I need, have you? Tamriel Flora Illustrated. We should search the bookstores for it as soon as possible. Do you know what? I had forgotten about that book. I'm glad she reminded me. Do you know what? It's amazing. Like, <laughs> a, a character that was designed specifically so that a person with Alzheimer's could play it. Works really well for a forgetful Let's Player as well, as it turns out. Uh, yeah, we'll go back to the bookshop in the Imperial City, I suppose, um, when we can. This is a bookshop in Shadenhall. Anyway, um, I, would, I could say let me check your gear, but I want to see if she can, if there's an option for a, I could use your help. If there's anything I can do for you, just tell me. Could you carry some stuff for me? Use a torch when it's dark. Sure, I can do that. Nice. Um, also... Clean the mess, please. Would you make me a new outfit? Could you do some shopping? No, no, no. I was hoping for a could you carry my stuff option. Sure. Let's do this. I think, actually, I think you might have to use the extra storage bag. I think that's how you put stuff in there so she doesn't use it. Might be how that works. I've noticed she doesn't isn't keen on using the battle axe of embers. Even though... She probably ought to, really. But it's her choice, I guess, isn't it? Let's see. Um, oh, yeah, Elven Longsword. I feel like I should try equipping that before I get rid of it. No, I don't think we're, I don't think we're high enough skill yet to be able to use it, so I'll just put it in there for now. Check it later if I need to. Um... Could make her carry some of the wardrobe. <laughs> uh, give her that Valenwood cape, I guess. Because I'm not likely to use it. Would she like a cape, do you think? Might put it in a regular inventory. Yes? Bye. No, doesn't look like it. Maybe she'd wear it if she's not in armor. She's in her regular clothes. Because I think it counts as regular clothing, you know. 
Resist disease burgundy. Crumbs. Bound boots. Just over here, just a wrecked box, yeah. Ah, she puts it away when she's sneaking, how clever. Friggin' genius add on this Villia. She's just she's so friggin' good. Um right. That's a view, isn't it? I guess these would be the alien ruins I couldn't access from topside. However, slightly hungry, slightly thirsty, and somewhat tired, eh? Let's take a minute to get something in it. Let's have some coffee. Eat that bread loaf. Munch on a carrot. I don't know. Just tired now, okay. Can deal with that. Um... Looking for the local map, that's what it was. Yeah, there's another bit we didn't... Well, there's, a, there's a passageway going down there. And there's another bit we didn't explore earlier. Down, down When we went downwards after killing the Gloom Wraith. Well, during the fight with the Gloom Wraith. I didn't check that out. So, oh, It's so good that you carry a torch for me. It really is. It's just, it's so good. So helpful. Oh my god, what? What? Nenyon Twill Mul- What? How did- What? You can do that in this game? Just have a hallway lead to a loading screen? Like, I didn't- That's like- You can do that in Skyrim, you know, when you enter a cave and stuff. And exit a cave. I didn't know you could- that's- uh, that's so weird. That's so weird. Okay, so that leads to uh, presumably the alien ruins, judging by the name. Man. i drink the rest of the coffee. Uh, that's uh... Man. Apparently that's a thing you can do. Just put a loading screen there. Do I? No. Billy, you're going to be able to figure this out, hopefully. She's pretty smart. Yeah, of course she can. Of course she can! Uh oh. Mushrooms, yeah. Oh, you can see the hairs on it. Oh, I have a thing about tarantulas. Like most spiders, don't bother me, but tarantulas just—they <sighs> creep me out. I think it's the hair. Pink poison of cowardice. Eyes of eventide tome. A whole bunch of welkin stones. Um, don't mind if I do. You want to hold on to one or, one or two of those over there? Also, what's over here? Nothing. Okay. Kind of looked like the way the mist was forming, it looked like there was something through there. You see what I mean? Like a weird optical illusion. Also, look at that. Green glowy stuff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm afraid I'm going to leave you on a bit of a cliffhanger today, because that's it for now. <laughs> uh, that's it. I just, yeah, that's perfect like that. You can see the thing in the background. Yeah, lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed today. Uh, next time, we shall continue our exploration of Darcy's Mine and the Iliad Ruin beyond. Uh, presumably, that is where the, um, that's where the undead are leaking in from. But uh, why there's undead in there in the first place, we don't yet know. Other than it's an Iliad Ruin and they have undead as a general rule. I don't know. I'm hoping maybe the quest will 
go to a bit further explanation than that, perhaps. But may, may, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Either way, ladies and gents, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed. And uh, I will catch you in the next one. Toodaloo.